Another nationwide organization that provides support in emergency situations is the Technisches Hilfswerk, Federal Agency for Technical Relief. In contrast to the previous voluntary associations and regional fire departments, this is an organization that reports to the Federal Ministry of the Interior and Community. And yet tens of thousands of volunteers are also deployed here at home and abroad to help HEBIL. Of the previous organizations, this is the youngest organization that can trace its roots back to the Technische Nothilfe, Technical Emergency Aid. The founder of both organizations was Otto Lumich. During the First World War, the qualified architect and civil engineer was an officer in the pioneer troops. After the end of the First World War, he founded the Technische Abteilung, Technical Department, as a voluntary corps made up of former Navy and Army soldiers and a number of volunteers who provided technical assistance. As this volunteer organization was not allowed to remain in existence, according to the Treaty of Versailles, the Reich Ministry of the Interior set up the Technische Nothilfe. This meant that it did not count as soldiers and did not fall under the 100,000 man army. Initially, the main task was to keep vital areas operational. This mostly meant emergency work in companies on strike that were vital such as gas works, power stations of the Reichsbahn or Reichspost and also agriculture. This naturally led to conflicts with the strikers and conflicts between the employers associations and the bourgeois parties as opposed to the SPD, KPD and trade unions. After 1925, the size and scope of the strikes decreased and the Technische Nothilfe shifted its focus to disaster relief and air protection. After the Nazis came into power, Otto Lumich had to resign from his post as head of Technische Nothilfe in 1934 because he did not want to separate from his half-Jewish wife. The technical emergency aid was placed under control of the order police. In addition to important tasks in civil protection and air raid protection, the emergency aid also followed the Wehrmacht into occupied territories and in some cases supported the destruction of residential buildings, for example, in the Warsaw Ghetto, or were deployed as auxiliary policemen in the fight against resistance fighters. After the end of Second World War, the Technische Nothilfe was disbanded by the Allies. On August 22, 1950, Otto Lumich was commissioned by the then Federal Minister of the Interior, Gustav Heinemann, to set up a civil security service again. The Technisches Hilfswerk, Technical Relief Organization, THW for short, was used as a name from 1951. On August 25, 1953, the THW became a federal agency without legal capacity. It is actually called the Bundesamt Technisches Hilfswerk, Federal Agency for Technical Relief. Due to the continuity in personnel, because in addition to Otto Lumich, the managers who had been in charge under the Nazis were back in management positions, the trade unions feared that it could once again become a strike-breaking organization. However, when a devastating storm surge hit the Netherlands and Great Britain on January 31, 1953, the THW helped there in its first foreign deployment. Due to the focus on disaster protection and the positive reporting on this mission, the trade unions also supported the organization and the THW gained numerous new members. Even though the THW is subordinate to the Federal Ministry, of the interior and deliberately not to the Ministry of Defense, so that it is protected as a non-combatant in the event of conflict, and of course also has full-time staff, 2,200, the majority of its members, 88,000, work on a voluntary basis. The THW is blue, which was partly the case back in the days of the technical emergency aid and was explained in such a way that the red fire department was supposed to take care of firefighting and the blue fire department was supposed to take care of rescue. As we know, rescue is now also the job for the fire department. If you want to look this up again, here is a link to the video 
about the volunteer fire departments. However, the THW is always called out when technical support is needed. The DLRG and THW work closely together within the framework of flood rescue using boats. The THW is represented by regional associations in every federal state, whereby two or three federal states are often merged into one regional association. In these eight state associations there are 66 regional offices and 668 local associations. The military rules are evident in the structure with squads, group and platoons and tactical symbols to define the units. These local units have different divisions but what they all have in common is a Zugtrupp platoon unit that coordinates and leads the operations and the Fachgruppe Bergung, Special Rescue Group. It helps to rescue peoples and animals. In addition to cutting people out of vehicle, this group also has wood with them to support buildings so that they can work in them. The Technische Zug, Technical Platoon, also had at least one other Fachgruppe, Specialist Group. There are various specialist groups. The Fachgruppe Notversorgung und Notinstandsetzung, Emergency Supply and Emergency Repair Group, can provide lightning, electricity and tents, has a pump and a boat, a forklift truck and a storage container, so everything you could ever need. There are currently almost as many rescue and emergency repair groups, 652, as there are associations, 668. There is a Fachgruppe Bergungstauchen, Specialist Rescue Diving Group, which is deployed whenever it is necessary to work underwater, rescue people or animals, recover victims or goods, or carry out repairs. Above water, the Fachgruppe Brückenbau, Bridge Construction Specialist Group, ensures that connections are re-established or repaired. The Fachgruppe Elektroversorgung, Electrical Supply Specialist Group, has appropriate power generators with it to provide power at emergency sites or at facilities such as hospitals in an emergency or to repair faulty power grids and facilities. The Fachgruppe Infrastruktur, Infrastructure Specialist Group, works in a similar area and ensures connections such as in the case of faulty electrical lines, drinking water or sewage pipes or newly constructed emergency shelters. The Fachgruppe Ölschaden, Oil Damage Specialist Group, is deployed when an oil spill has occurred on a body of water. The Fachgruppe Ortung, Specialist Location Group, uses technology and dogs to locate people who are buried or missing. The Fachgruppe Räumen, Specialist Clearing Group, clears the way. Construction machinery or chainsaw and pliers are used to clear paths and remove obstacles. The Fachgruppe Schwere Bergung, Specialist Heavy Rescue Group, is deployed when a simple rescue is not enough. When plasma cutters or core drills have to be used to work their way to the burial site, perhaps under respiratory protection or even to rescue people from heights up to 30 meters, these are the tasks of the heavy rescue team. The Fachgruppe Sprengen, Specialist Blasting Group, does what the name says. It blasts. If flotsam or ice gets stuck under a bridge during a flood and prevents it from draining, a gap has to be created or if parts of a building are in the way, they have to be removed out of the way quickly. A Fachgruppe Trinkwasserversorgung, specialist drinking water supply group, can provide its drinking water treatment plant with 15,000 liters of safe drinking water every hour. They also repair wells or build new ones. The Fachgruppe Wassergefahren, Specialist Water Hazards Group, can rescue people and animals, salvage material assets and build floating bridges or provide floating work platforms. The Fachgruppe Wasserschadenpumpe, Specialist Water Damage Pumping Group, can pump out water over long distances or pump in water to support the fire department in firefighting, for example. There are a few specialist squads. The Trupp Einsatzstellensicherung Scene Protection Squad is used in rubble areas. The laser measure device do not miss the slightest movement in the rubble and ensures the deployment of the rescue or locational teams. 
The Trupp Mobiler Hochwasserpegel Mobile Flood Level Squad is deployed in the event of flooding. When the R flooded, the fixed water level was simply torn away at the beginning. The Trupp Unbemannte Luftfahrtsysteme Unmanned Aerial Systems Squad uses drones to obtain an overview of the area or to search for missing persons using thermal imaging cameras. The Virtual Operations Support Team, yes, they have an English name, scores the Internet during operations to obtain further information or to find and clarify disinformation and forwards reports. There are also a few specialist platoons. The Fachzug Führung Kommunikation, Command and Control Communication Platoon, is always deployed in particularly difficult situations that require special coordination. The Fachzug Logistik, Logistics Platoon, supports THW forces in operation, transports goods and operates logistics bases. That leaves two teams. The media team supports THW in its public relation work. As you know, do good and talk about it. There is also an Einsatznachsorge team, aftercare team. After all, the rescuers may also experience stress, danger, suffering and grief. The THW can be deployed all over the world through the Ministry of the Interior. In the event of earthquakes, it provides support in the search for buried victims, sets up a water supply through wells and drinking water treatment or helps with pumps in the event of flooding. There is also a large pool of volunteers who are ready to be deployed quickly in an emergency. The Federal Agency for Technical Relief also has a youth department with youth groups in almost all local groups in Germany. Children from the age of six can join in and learn how to help through play, spielend helfen lernen. Especially if you are new, it's another good way to get in touch with others. And for the older ones, like those aged 17 and over, as with the fire department, there is a basic training course that everybody has to complete. In 82 hours, the basics of civil protection in Germany and the EU are taught in theory and practice, as well as very practical things such as the use of pumps and lighthouses. All of this culminates in a final examination. Depending on the specialist group, there is also special training such as truck driving or diving. However, there are also full-time employees and positions in the Federal Volunteer Service, Bundesfreiwilligendienst. So, if you would like to get involved, you are sure to find a THW local branch nearby. Why not take a look? As always, it's a good opportunity to improve your German language skills. I wish the helpers every success. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.